Hi, I'm Aaron Brooker, your area BEX agronomist covering Michigan and Northern Indiana. In this video series, I'll discuss the PFR proven products and practices and success strategies we've identified that I'm confident will work in Michigan. Join me as we bridge the gap and bring PFR to your farm. Hi everyone. So as we approach harvest season, it's a good time to talk about one of our PFR proven practices in residue management. And residue management isn't something that maybe we talk about frequently, especially as we move up here north in Michigan, but it's something that I think could help with some of the issues we see year in and year out, especially in some no-till situations uh, where we deal with a lot of heavy residue, especially as we're pushing higher corn yields year in and year out. Um, some things that we could do in the fall to help us in the spring uh, with things like insects, um, even wear and tear on equipment and tires, and nutrient cycling as well. So as I just stated, some of the benefits of uh, residue management. So nutrient cycling is going to be a big one. Uh, we can get a lot of nutrients tied up in the stalks, especially potassium. Potassium can tie up in the stalks, but when it breaks down because it's just located in the sap and that water in the stalk, breaking down those stalks to some extent, provides a relatively quick release of that potassium. Also things like nitrogen and some other uh, nutrients that if we can break these stocks down faster, those will get incorporated back into the soil a little quicker and help that following crop uh, as it comes to that carbon to nitrogen ratio and the tie up we get due to those corn stocks being out there and breaking down slowly over time. Another thing is probably an obvious one, but just wear and tear on, on those tires, uh, even in the fall, especially with a couple of our chopping heads and things like that, uh, that can really help as we're driving over those stocks. If they're broken up, obviously, uh, we're not going to uh, have as much damage there to the tires. And then the last piece, and I think a big piece, uh, as we looked at some of the issues we had this year in Michigan with things like slugs and some other insects, is just breaking down that residue to try to give those insects less places to, to hide uh, those cooler, wetter areas, especially with slugs that the, the wet conditions that those pests specifically like uh, help remove those when it comes time for spring uh, and hopefully reduce the pressure that we're seeing by managing some of this residue in the fall. So in Bex PFR, we've tested a couple of different uh, methods of managing residue. One of them is going to be uh, through spray applications. So we have a couple of PFR proven products called Res Plus and Robust. And these are just going to be uh, nutrient packages that basically feed microbes. We're going to spray them on the field. They, they feed microbes and those microbes are then going to have some nutrients uh, to help break down these stocks a little bit faster in the fall and into next year. Um, and, and help just that breakdown process move faster than what it would just naturally on its own. The other one is going to be uh, the uh, mechanical methods. So that's going to be either the Capello chopping head or the Yetter stock devastator are the two PFR proven ones. And these would go right on the combine and physically break down those stocks as we're running that through the field. Uh, for consistency sake, uh, these work really great, uh, can, can really provide a consistent breakdown of those stocks every single time, but they do cost a little bit more than if we were just going to go out and spray something over the field. The sprays are uh, going to be maybe a little less consistent, especially as we move north here. We still need those temperatures to, to break down those stocks. We need temperatures high enough to have good microbial activity, uh, and that's often limiting in the fall up here, but if we do have a good harvest or if we do have a warm fall or warm winter, these products can work quite well, even up in Michigan and Northern Indiana as well. So a few different options here and a lot of benefits, especially as we think about those no-till acres, uh, some of that heavy residue we deal with when it comes to planting next spring. It'll help us with these insects, uh, with that nutrient cycling and getting these soils to dry out faster in the spring so we can get off to a better start next year. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out and uh, consult your local BEX advisor or the PFR book for more information on these products and practices. Thank you.